She means nothing to me. So if you want to kill her, go ahead and do it. Oh! Prescription for that? What did it say? What, probably something for headaches. Antibiotics. I just got a stomach bug. She needs some crackers. <laughs> crackers always make me feel better. Why aren't they back from the boat yet? You need antibiotics for a stomach bug? My gut says we're getting off this island. Well, your gut. Was gut. gut. <laughs> <laughs> she said it before I could. Damn it, Kate. <laughs> Bernard, why the f are you screaming? Who is that? That has to be somebody from the ship. Do you know who this is? He's on our boat. This is the doctor. Oh, sh! Oh, sh! That is him! What? Let's get on with it. They're playing some silly ass game, aren't they? I'm attacking Siberia. Can't believe you're just giving him Australia. Australia's the key to the whole game. Australia's the key to the whole. Australia's the key to the whole game. <laughs> but please, there's a baby with him. Turn the fence off. Who is this? Come on, Alex. Was that the number? Damn, that just reminded me Danielle's dead. Fuck. And Carl. Damn. Code 14J. Who is it? Oh, it sends an alert? I think it's for Ben. Tell him what it means. And he'll tell him it means that they're coming. How the hell did this motherfucker get free in his... Phone rang. I picked it up. Repeating code 14J. Whoa! We need to get to the other house. It's a better position on the tree lines. What are you talking about? This motherfucker! A shotgun the whole time all right hold on wait a minute so this must be a lock episode what a cold open that's how you do it There's bad vibes all around Let's go. <laughs> Halloax, what the hell we're all right Yes, yes, yours. The hell? Do you speak English? It should be your musunus. Materax. Damn, he's layered up. He's not supposed to be where he's at. No other. No other. Holy <laughs> shit. Surrender. Oh, so you do speak English. What? I said in season two, Ben is starting to steal the show. Yeah, uh, it is his show. Open. This is the Ben show. We're hunkering down. I gotta grab Frenchie and the kids. Don't bother. They're safe. Sent Rousseau, Alex, and Carl away yesterday. Wait, where? Whatever. Claire's still sleeping. I'll oh, he knew it was a trap. Wait, then, then he knows who's coming. The people that are coming won't risk hurting me. You want to live? I'm your best chance. His throat was slit. Boyer and Claire better not fuck and die neither one of them i swear to god not like this mic smash up pretty good but we'd only be able to broadcast beeps and boops you could still use it as sort of a telegraph right wiring damn jack looks pissed i mean i know he's a little bit sick too there's people who are coming they're scared of them aren't you that's right john i am what's going on oh they're all barricaded with them all right oh sh how sorry you're gonna get back in he's not See if Claire left her house this morning. Why the other? Skip back inside and wait until. Oh! Shh. Claire! Nah, no one saw her leave, so that means she got out there. She left. Yeah, Claire's definitely not in there. But I am extremely. Like, I'm on the verge right now of like sheer panic. Claire and Sawyer? That's a major Good death. Sir. Good afternoon. I'd like a room, please. Of course, sir. And we haven't seen them off the island? Dean Moriarty. Certainly, Mr. Moriarty. Today's date is... October 24th. 2005. Yes, sir. Motherfucker, this is a flash forward? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just want to bury my wife in peace. Oh my god! There's a lot going on. Put him in the back room. 
I need to survive this. Why? There's only one person that can help us now, and that's Jacob, and we have to go to him together. I don't even know where the cabin is. But Hurley does. What? Oh, no, that's not clear. That's not clear. Oh, my God! Okay. Oh, good shit. Where's Aaron? He's good. We got him. Oh, my God. I need commercial breaks in this. I can't just watch this straight. You, go. you don't want to do that. Open the door! Thought I was going to leave him out there? Fuck out of here. Oh, my God. Why slaughter people without even telling us what they want? People were murdered to make you angry, James. You'd be more likely to come storming in here and throw me to the wolves. Sounds like a great plan to me. Do they know who he is, too? Sawyer and Claire? They tried to kill Claire, 100%. Oh, shit. Who the hell let you out? People gave me this. They want to talk. Okay, good, 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 good. Yes, I want to talk, too. Let's do more talking. They're doing a little bit too much, like... Killing and blowing up and shit. <laughs> he found her and married her. Oh. Well, let's, uh, Saeed might have found Nadia, or she probably saw he survived and found him. Then they got married right away. <laughs> Man's doing recon work. <laughs> he knew he was gonna. <laughs> oh, shit. Fire on me! What are you doing here? I'm here to find the man who murdered your wife. Did Might you get off the island? Your friend Desmond had a boat. Oh! There was a man at her procession. Ishmael Bakir. Caught by a traffic camera from the corner of La Brea and Santa Monica. Three blocks from where Nadia was killed. Well, now he, now Saeed's gonna do it for you. Unless it was you, Ben. I still don't trust Ben. Thanks for the information. Go fuck yourself. Oh! told me they were just security. Security for what? For him. Once they got him to escort him back to the mainland. Well, Miles, sounds like you're not gonna collect your 3.2 million dollars. Those were the people that were with him on the boat? Oh, nah, they all gotta die then, fuck them. Every single one of my people is prepared to die in service to this island. It's your daughter. Hello. I mean, technically she's not his daughter. <laughs> Damn, it is yeah, people from their freighter. Damn! You and I both know that once you have me, nothing to stop you from killing everybody else on this island. What kind of guy do you think I am? Martin Christopher Kimi, former first sergeant, United States Marine Corps. <laughs> I know exactly what kind of man you are, and we can dispense with the formalities. Okay, Ben. Get your ass out here right now. Or I'm gonna kill your daughter. How twisted are you, Ben? I'd like to present a counter proposal. You and your friends turn around, walk back to your helicopter, fly away, and forget <laughs> you ever heard of this island. Why would he do that, Ben? What's up? Dad, you're serious. They killed Carl and my mother. Everything's gonna be okay. Please, Daddy. Does he have a plan? Is Alex about to die now, too? I stole her as a baby from an insane woman. She means nothing to me. She's trying to save your life. We all know that. So if you want to kill her, go ahead and do it. Oh! Let's just hand him over. He changed the rules. What? Who? Jacob? Damn it, man. Best chance here is to toss him out and fend for ourselves. No, it's not. It's really not. He had a shit. He had a shotgun and could have used it. You earned some trust with me, no matter how despicable you are. You might be our best chance of getting out of this alive. You had that the whole time, you son of a bitch. He said you changed the rules. What does this mean? Is he about to go out there and start wrecking shit? He definitely knows you're following him, Ben. He got you. Who are you and why are you following me? My name is Benjamin Linus. And I need you to take a message to Mr. Widmore. Uh -huh. What message is that? Oh! Yo, Nadia! He's still pulling the trigger! That should do it. <laughs> Mourn your loss. Get on with your life. I have no life. They took it from me. Once you let your grief become anger, it will never go away. 
I speak from experience. What happened? That girl died. I finally found her and I married her. And I buried her yesterday. So don't tell me this is not my war. Right. Like, nah. Like, did Ben... Did Ben have Nadia killed so he could be in touch. Saeed working for him? It'd be perfect. See, look at that. He's the devil. Nah, he really is the devil. I need all of you to do exactly as I say. We have to run from this house as fast as we can. When I give the order, I want you to head straight for the tree line. Wait, then where are they gonna be? Is it the black smoke? He let it loose? <laughs> They're really trying to shoot and fight smoke. What did you do? You just call that thing? Yes, he did. He summoned the smoke. Go. Time to get out of here. Go, go. I'll catch up to you. Where are you going? I have to say goodbye to my daughter, John. Damn. We will not lose the war. You have my daughter. I will mourn her. Jeez. Damn, that's the first time I've really seen Ben crushed. What are you sending? One. So he has some humanity left. Um, two. Nah. Gee, I don't. Friends are fine, and the helicopter's coming back in the morning. He's lying. The message said, "What are you talking about? The doctor is fine." <laughs> what does that mean? The doctor is fine. I don't know. Why are you lying? Maybe he hasn't died yet. Were you ever gonna take us off this island? Nope. No. No. Jack. This might be a stress ulcer or something. I mean, Juliet is in medicine somewhat. Let her look at you, Jack. I think your chopper buddies ran that way if you want to catch up. Yeah, I think I'll stay with you guys for, for now. Damn it, now I see why people follow Ben. If I was stuck on this island, I'm gonna be around Ben. It's fucked. This is fucked. You lied to me. You told me you didn't know what the smoke monster was. You can ask Jacob all about it when we go to the cabin. Hang on. Jacob? That is the first thing Locke asked him, too. He's like, what's the black smoke? I'm going back to the beach and Claire and the kid are coming with me. You good with that? Yeah, I'm good with that. Oh, my God. Have you lost your mind? Hugo stays with us. Whoa! We're not about to do this. Hugo, you're gonna have to go with them. Put the guns down. I'll go with Locke. You're gonna have to, Hugo. Hugo! It's okay, Sawyer. Hell yeah. Put your gun down. Hurley's gonna do whatever it takes to avoid confrontation. Especially with guns. Maybe a van, but not a gun. You harm so much as one hair on his curly head, I'll kill you. Fair enough. And Miles is going with them, too. Which way? Wait, so where's Charlie's body? Drowned in the bunker, right? Damn, what if he could talk to Charlie's ghost and relay it to Claire? I'm here to see Mr. and Mrs. Kendrick in 4E. They're expecting me. Feel free to call out. No need, sir. Good night, sir. <laughs> it's a setup. We're gonna find out Ben was behind all this shit right now, aren't we? I see you've been getting more sun. McCutcheon. If you come here to kill me, we both know I can't do that. Then why are you here? And why can't you kill him? Is he gonna kill Penny? We both know very well I didn't murder her at all. Benjamin, you did. No, that's not true. It is. Everything you have, you took from me. What the so, fuck? Once again, I ask you, why are you here? I'm going to kill your daughter. Oh shit! I knew it. Then you'll understand how I feel, and you'll wish you hadn't changed the rules. So he was talking about Charles. He changed the rules. I'll never find it. I suppose the hunt is on for both of us. I suppose it is. Sleep tight, Charles. This man just told him he's gonna kill his daughter, and he's like, "You'll never find her." Didn't even bat an eye. He's like, I have conversations like this 
for breakfast. Damn. Wow. What a loaded episode. Australia is the key to the whole game. That was the first thing I wrote for this. I don't know. It just stood out to me when Hurley said it. Why that line? So Ben has been number one the whole time, huh? On the show. He's the number one. He's really in cahoots with his the top generals of his enemies. He could kill him, but for some reason he can't. Of course, that's not going to be dis disclosed to us yet. Hopefully. He had a shotgun the whole time, playing the piano. He pulled it out and handed it to Sawyer. Right? Like they said, he's exactly where he wants to be. He wants to be around Hurley and John. So what wouldn't make me think he would set this up or be in some cahoots to... Nah, 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 nah. Like he said, he changed the rules. He would not sacrifice Alex. Even though he did, he didn't... He wasn't behind... That wasn't part of the plan. Let's just put it that way. It was the decision that he had to make when it came. Not the same thing. He sacrificed his daughter for the lives of everyone else. Because like he said, if he would have walked out there, everyone on the island would die. Ben is just... He messes with your brain and his tact and personality are terrifying your mind <laughs> we said that to julia i haven't seen him in the same light since and they really haven't portrayed him in that light either ben has gone straight he's gone full ben i would not be against i mean if, if he's not alive but it could take place in the past a ben spinoff that would have been cool if, or, or, or like some extra i'm already talking about a spinoff for ben not knowing how these last two seasons end. He may mur he may shoot Jack in the head. He may shoot Locke in the head. And I'm talking about this guy needs a spinoff. Let me let me finish the series first before I start talking crazy. He's already done a lot. But R.I.P. Alex. The good. They do die young. Boone. Libby. Charlie. Carl. Russo. Alex. I'm sure there's other people I'm not thinking of right now. I just Man. Of course, some bad people died too, but... It's just being good is not going to save you here. Jin. I don't know how he died. I'm assuming it was on the island. You don't understand. I've been. And that's why they did it. Every time I'm not watching the show, I'm away from where I'm doing something. And I just happen to think of loss. I'm thinking of ways Jin might have died. Was he? Does he die sacrificing himself? Jumping off the helicopter or something when they're getting saved? Or does he have to stay behind? Or does is he really not dead? It's a secret. And... Or is he executed and it's big, long, and sad? Like, why would they do that? Now, thankfully, I won't have to wait as long as you guys did between episodes. But damn, that is a little more than a gut punch. That's a, a twist of the knife. Ben smiling after talking to Saeed basically confirmed that he is probably behind Nadia being killed and Saeed fell for it. Unless Saeed's playing a long game. He's a smart guy. He figures stuff out way quicker than I do watching the show. Not to say I'm like some genius or smart or something, but, you know, I feel like I'm picking up stuff that they didn't expect people to pick up right away. Certain links, you know, not really too many clues were given. But Saeed, but the stuff I don't really pick up, Saeed mentions it. Like, I, I, I don't see anyone not believing Michael didn't kill Libby and Anna. And what's the first thing we see when Saeed's at the funeral? I think Michael's been compromised. <laughs> Save the show. Seriously, could have got so much worse than that. I mean, they still ended up getting captured. and But damn. I hope Saeed figures this out. He's just playing the long game. He got the drop on the girl that shot him. And he really had feelings for her. He loved her. You saw the way he stroked her face after he had to kill her. But his proficiency and intelligence. It's got to be part of some big thing in the end. They're so vital to the show so far. From everyone. Not even just Saeed. From everyone. Everyone. Kate, Jack, Sawyer, Locke. Desmond, I'm saying everything everyone's gone through and their experiences, and of course, Saeed and Ben, it just sets them up to be able to pull off some pretty unbelievable stuff. Way more than the average person, man. They lived on the island. Damn. The ones that left have to go back. What's keeping the little spark of hope alive, that little flame, is was it Lance Reddick? No, 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 no. Ben said it to Saeed when he was patching him up about you want to keep your friends alive or something. Yeah, see, it turned into the give me my next assignment to you better keep doing this or something's going to happen to your friends. That's Ben. That is Ben. And Juliet's been saying this. Juliet, where's Juliet? Oh, no. See, she's a smart woman, too. See the same stuff I was saying about Saeed? She is right up there. She knows when to throw things back in people's faces at the right time. She knows what to say. And it's brutal honesty. It's not her trying to play you. It's her trying to be as nice as possible and not just say it. But then you push someone to the point where they just have to come out and say it. And now that's what I understand Juliet's character was. I used to get mad like, why wouldn't she just say this? Yada, yada. Okay, you might be playing the long game. But it's frustrating because a lot of this just seems like it's poorly planned. 
but it's not it's just her withholding from saying everything for other safety and what she learned with goodwin that's why they showed that and she knows people aren't gonna understand took me a while to understand but i get it i love julia now she's she's definitely one of us extremely tense and which is understandable because look what it led up to the the person who's number one on my list his daughter died who i had pretty high up on my favorite characters list she was an honorable mention season one two whatever when they showed her for like a millisecond and oh when she freed claire i forgot you have to go back and see all right p damn what the fuck russo alex carl did ben know they were gonna be there maybe the people knew that ben was gonna be there so where are their people at and ben said my people will be willing to die ben might be behind all this to a certain level of degree and i think other people are suspecting that too because he said the rules change like they're playing a game like risk at the beginning like on a play it's like this is like a game it's like hey you changed the rules and then he threatened to kill penny i don't know how desmond's gonna take it if desmond's alive if his brain didn't pop like eloise and Mc mcclutchen mcclowski mcclusky and i'm not liking this how we're, we're getting a whole bunch of deaths in season four the flash forwards I was talking about, oh, we're going to get some cool stuff. It'll be a cool way to tell the story. No, they're letting us know. Oh, yeah, just a heads up. It hasn't happened yet, but this person dies. And I'm okay with that. You know, that's part of the story. But why are characters dropping like flies? 